We all know by now that giving up fapping to adult sites is good for you and your self-development journey. So, no fap is a good thing, but that's why it therein lies a sneaky mental trap as well. You see, some people then can start justifying doing other not so healthy things and they mentally go something like, well, I'm doing so well on no fap right now that who cares if I take a break from my physical exercise and eat junk food for a period here. Let's just for the sake of this video here call that phenomenon the NoFap justification bias. And that period can then become a period of weeks to months and they continue to justify it by going the main thing is that I stay away from fapping to porn. Well listen guys, sure that may or may not be the main thing in your life right now. But you still can't use that as justification to go full retard <laughs> in other areas of your life. As I said, this tends to happen on small scale levels as well as on big scale levels and it seems to happen more to people who have an addictive personality type because they are already at risk of developing several addictions and then when the NoFap justification bias sets in and they start justifying, it's pretty easy for them to start trading one addiction for another. Some may start playing five times more video games, others may start drinking more alcohol or start smoking or they become really addicted to social media or god forbid start doing heavier dangerous drugs. Now if this happens as a consequence of the NoFap justification bias then we can all agree on that that's not good. Now sure one could argue that many who already have an addictive personality would still eventually fall down into other bad habits and sure for many that's indeed the case. But that doesn't change the fact that the NoFap justification bias can be one factor setting off such a thing. So that's why it's my responsibility to warn you against it here. Also keep in mind that the NoFap justification bias can happen on a smaller scale as well. Next Tuesday for example you can be thinking oh man I'm kicking ass at NoFap right now. I really need a reward and so you go out partying, get completely hammered and then you're so hungover the following day so you also skip your workout and so on. Now if things like this happen once in a while it's not that big of a deal obviously. But it's a spectrum here and all the way from these problem guys here to you missing one day of a workout here. And then the NoFap justification bias can be working on you somewhere here in the middle too. Making you eat a few more donuts than what's good for you or giving you a pass on working on your social skills so you stay stuck stuck in your social anxiety problems and on and on. Yeah, so avoid the trap of thinking NoFap is the only thing that matters in life and that just by doing that I don't need to do anything else. Or even worse, just by doing that I can allow myself to do bad things. And speaking of dark sides of NoFap, there is one more super important thing about this that I shared in a video two years ago. That if you get stuck in that mental trap, oh man, oh man, then it could potentially hold you back several years in your rebooting. So please, please click on this video right now and you'll discover exactly what that other dark side is. So that you can then make sure to avoid it and have a good and healthy reboot. Just click on it right now and you'll see exactly what I mean.